What is up guys? Today I want to talk about armor and armor penetration and magic and magic resistant magic penetration and how that works. And uh then we'll get into a little bit more complicated. This is going to be like a math series or something like that where I'll teach you some of the League of Legends math so you can understand it better and help that to improve your builds and improve uh your understanding of the game. First, let's get into armor though. A lot of people don't understand how armor works. There's a simple algorithm that you can follow and I'm not going to be following the damage reduction algorithm uh, because it's it's just it's extra math you don't need to worry about we're just gonna look at the damage taken algorithm so the armor value in league is not a flat reduction it never is a flat reduction because that's kinda of boring once you hit a certain armor value let's say if you hit 400 armor that's gonna block almost every auto attack if it was flat reduction so the reason they do uh, percentage reduction is because um, it actually allows some form of counterplay to heavy armor stackers. So, and it, it's it's interesting. I'm sure they could do a flat armor with lower values, but I feel like this is a good it's a good system. But let's talk about the math behind the armor and how to calculate that percentage of the damage you will take. So first, let's look at somebody with 100 armor. That's uh, actually let's look at zero armor first. So zero armor. Um, as you know, if you have zero armor, you take true damage, or 100% of the damage, or of the base damage is dealt to you. Having zero armor is really bad in League of Legends, because you will essentially just be destroyed. There is nothing you can do, really, to survive a team fight uh, or a duel, or anything, even against a support Sona, she will just shred you to bits if you have no armor and she has 50 armor. You're so screwed. So, let's now look at 100 armor. That's no longer true damage. In fact, this value is now 50% uh, reduction of damage. Or you will take 50% of the damage. So, this is a very, very simple equation. Um, that you can follow to figure out this damage taken or this uh, percentage reduction. And the equation is simply 100 divided by 100 plus armor. I keep missing that R key. And that's going to be your damage taken. So for example, looking at 100 uh, armor, let's just do 100 divided by 100 plus 100 is equal to 50%. So you're going to be taking 50% of the damage. Now let's look at 200. 100 over 100 plus 200. You'll be taking 33% damage taken. And so on and so forth. Now there's something I want to point out here. And this may help you, those of you that like to build tanky, and you think that building pure armor is a really good idea. As you build more and more armor, your damage taken doesn't decrease by all that much. Look at this. The, the initial from 0 armor to 100 armor, you've essentially gone from 100% damage taken to 50% damage taken. You've mitigated 50% of the damage between those two values. But when you jump from 100 armor to 200 armor, you only gain 17% of the damage taken. You only gain 34% more benefit, which is not all that much. It's a significantly smaller benefit um, than previously when you go from 0 to 100. So something you need to keep an eye on and you need to kind of think about ahead of time is the more armor you buy, the less it's going to affect you because you're never going to have 100% damage reduction. It's always going to be in between 0 and 100. Um, so the more armor you have, the less effective it will be. So let's look at um, 100 over 100 plus 300, which means you have 300 armor, you're only going to be having 25% damage taken. That's only 8% better. Now, of course, in a team fight, only taking 25% damage is much better than 33% damage taken, but there's a point in the game where it's actually more uh, cost-effective to buy health than it is for armor, and it changes for each champion and it changes for based on how much health you have and how much armor you have and there's a I'll explain this in another video it's called effective health um, but right now as you can tell 
it's not always a good idea to keep stacking armor because the more armor you have, the less benefit you're going to get from it. You're only going to be getting 8% less damage taken um, from each auto attack. And it does benefit you still, but it's not as beneficial as having a bigger health pool or better life steal or um, a good utility items or something like that. So there's usually a threshold for whenever I play a tank, and that's usually around 200 to 250 armor. Um, unless the enemy team is just 100% attack damage, I usually look at my armor and say, you know what? I have enough armor now. I need to either look at utility, magic resist, or building more health. And I base uh, between those three decisions, I usually base it on how the game is going. If the enemy team has a really strong burst in terms of AP, they have really good uh, engages and I need better disengage. Or if I just need to be able to tank a little bit better, I might build more health. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about effective health later, but that's just, that's armor on its own. That's how you can calculate the armor. And now let's talk about armor penetration, which actually it works in the other direction. Um, armor penetration is more effective the more armor penetration you have. So while armor is less effective the more you have, armor penetration is more effective the more you have. And we'll do the math for that real quick. So let's look at armor penetration. So let's say in your runes you have five armor penetration. Because that's all you really wanted. You didn't want to do too much about it. You didn't want to worry about it. No big deal. It's like four quints. Or not four quints. It's four marks. So it's really not too much. I am receiving. Um, give me a minute. I'm talking to a friend. Only he actually just chatted me up. So, uh, but let's see if five armor penetration. So looking at five armor penetration, when somebody has, let's say they have 50 armor. So your target has 50 armor. Why do I have the, the dash there, hyphen or whatever it's called? With five armor penetration, that's 45 effective armor to you because you essentially subtract that five armor penetration each time you attack that person. So previously with 50 ar or with a 50 armor target, um, that means that they will take 66.6% damage taken. It's technically 66.7 actually. It's so they take 66.7% damage taken. With 45 armor, I don't know that value off the top of my head, so I'll do the math real quick. They take 69.0%. Now that's not a huge difference, but it is a small amount. So uh, let's say you had 200 attack damage. So 200 attack damage to a 50 armor target would deal, let's see, it's like 130 something uh, times, it's 133.4. So that's how much damage you do per hit. Now, 200... Why does it... And it's to a 50 armor target without... I should specify that. Without any armor pen, it will deal 133.4 damage per hit. 200 attack damage to a 50 armor target. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble typing today. With armor pen. Where did I make that error? I just had a double space in there. Not a big deal. Uh, will now deal 69% um, or will deal 138 damage per hit. Now, looking at these two values, they're a little bit different, but it's really not too big a deal. But it is a significant amount. If you look at these two values, let's just do the math for it. What is 69 divided by 66.7? So you do 3.4, or it's 1.034. So that's 3.45 is actually the, the values there. That's 3.45, um, let's get that so you can see that. 3.45% additional damage against 50 armor targets. Now, there's something that I want to point out here. 
the less armor the person has, the higher this percentage will be. So let's look at a 10 armor target, just for the sake of um, for the sake of proving this math. So let's look at 10 armor. Actually, no, we're gonna look at yeah, 10 armor is probably the best. No, 25 armor. 25 armor is the easiest with math. So let's look at 25 armor. They now take 80% um, of the damage because it's 100 over 100 plus 25 or 1 over 1.25 or 80%. Now with um, 20 armor, which would be after the, the 5 armor penetration, they're not going to be taking 100 over one or 120 let me do the math real quick. It's 83.3% damage taken. Percent damage taken. Uh, why did I do a division there? I don't know. It's actually not a division. It, it could be, actually. I don't know. But 83.3 divided by 80 is now... 83.3 divided by 80 is now 4.125. So 83.3 divided by 80 is equal to 4.125, or it's actually 1.04125, and that's 4.125% additional damage against 25 armor targets. Now you can tell, just from these two numbers and the math I've just done here, the lower their armor, the more effective that 5 armor penetration will be. 5 armor penetration gives you 4.125% additional damage with all of your physical damage. It could be from your skills, could be from your auto attacks, could be from anything. So the lower their armor, the more you will do. Now this is something that's very interesting. If you decide to build some armor penetration, building more armor penetration on top of that will make the previous armor penetration more effective. So for example, if you had 5 armor penetration earlier, and you build an item that gives you 10 more, actually, let's, let's say you build an item that gives you 25 more. I don't think there's an item in the league that does that, but for the sake of this example, we're going to do that. Um, so 5 armor penetration plus 25 more from an item, you're essentially now going from 50 armor to 20 armor. Now, looking at this here, the 5 armor penetration here. Let's look at the percentage additional damage per armor pen here. Let me do that math real quick. So 5 over 3.45. 1 point, oh no, just kidding. 3.45 over 5. So it's 0.69% additional damage per R pen. And here it's something like 0.8. So 4.125 over 5 is 0.825 percent additional damage. Now here, we're going to go ahead and look at a 50 armor target with these armor penetration stats. So they go from 50 armor equals 66.7 percent damage taken. To 20 armor, which is now 83 point percent damage taken. That's a pretty significant difference. Let's look at the, the division here. Let's look at the percentage total uh, increased damage from those values. 83.3 over 66.7 and you now have 1.249 or 24.9 percent additional damage against 50 armor targets. And that's looking at this 5 armor penetration plus 25 from an item. So this 30 armor penetration total, ignoring this stuff up here now. Um, previously, you just had the 5 armor penetration with the runes, and that 5 armor penetration was only a value of 0.69% additional damage per armor penetration against these 50 armor targets. Now, you have 24.9% additional damage over 30 um, over 30 armor penetration total, so 24.9 divided by 30, you now have an effectiveness of 0.83. So 0.83% additional damage per R pen. Now, we're, we're not talking about the 20 armor target here. We're talking about the 50 armor target. 
we've gone from 0.69 additional damage per armor penetration to 0.83% additional damage per armor penetration. That's a significant difference. That's something like 20% increase in, u in usage of your armor penetration. So the more armor penetration you have, the more effective it's going to be. And that's why I always advise um, that if you have armor penetration runes, that you should get a Last Whisper as your at least your third item, at the very least. Um, and that's because it'll synergize really, really well with those armor penetration runes. It'll increase your damage by a huge amount. And a lot of people don't realize that. Um, and even against low target or low armor targets, it'll increase your damage by a ton. So that's how armor penetration works. So let's just go over this again. Armor decreases uh, value as you stack it. More armor means less use or less value. So if you go from 200 armor to 300 armor, you're really not gaining all that much more damage reduction whereas armor penetration is the opposite. So increases value as you stack it. More armor pen increases the value of old armor pen. I just spelled old armor pen. We'll, we'll hit enter. So as you build more armor penetration, the value of the previous armor penetration is actually going to be a lot more a lot higher. It's going to be more powerful. So if you decided to have an entire armor penetration build, um, you would probably be doing true damage or almost true damage by the end of your build. And um, it'll be a very, very powerful build. The, the only thing you have to be careful there is that you have either high base damages or you make sure you supplement some of that penetration with some attack damage. And um, yeah, I think it's really, really powerful. Armor penetration is a very underrated thing and a lot of people forget about it. But um, honestly, it's a very, very important part of League. And if you want to improve your understanding of the game, you should probably do some math on some of your builds. Uh, and the, th the things work, this sa works the same way with Magic Resist and Magic Penetration. So if you're interested in working with um, AP builds and stuff like that, it works the same way. Magic Resist is calculated the exact same way. Percent damage taken and percent damage reduction and all that jazz. So uh, that's just a basic lowdown on how uh, armor and armor penetration works. It may have been a little bit long-winded. I'm sorry about that. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I'd be happy to answer those for you. And uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a nice day.